Our passage today is 2 Peter 1, verses 1 to 21, living beyond the tweet. Two things seem to be in short supply today, reliable information and people of authentic character. This chapter tells us a way to have both things. Verse 1 and 2, the short introductions. In ancient days, the first line included the main points and thrusts of a letter. Letters were scrolls, and the first lines were the envelope and contents page, as well as the spine of a book, so you could quickly see what it was all about. Clearly, this is a letter from the Apostle Peter to every Christian, of all ages and stages and countries and cultures. It's not a letter like a bill or a rebuke. It's a letter that carries a blessing. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and that of Jesus our Lord. And so it's a blessing we can receive today. May grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. The next section, verses 3 to 10, tells us that we need to aim for how we can achieve a life of authenticity, a life that makes a real difference to people, really and truly. Listen to this great list. Faith leading to goodness, leading to knowledge, to self-control, perseverance leading to greater godliness, to mutual affection and love. Wow, that's a big list. It's a high bar. Who wouldn't want to spend time with people? What's the catch? What's the key? Well, there's a God part and a human part. The God part is first and most important. The divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. And in verse 3, the human part is also important. We make every effort of our own to head for having this type of character. And the second section says we need to find out more about the Bible, become firmly grounded and established in the truth. We don't need to make anything up, mystical stories or old wives' tales. We've got the reliable scriptures, so we should read them, pass them down from one generation to the other. It's so clear the manuscripts are reliable, faithfully written down. They've never been changed at all, despite what any people say. Not everything meaningful can be summed up in 140 characters, but if it could, how about God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Or, the gospel shows us the perfect path of eternal life, which is through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for our sins that we might live.